The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. Thanks, honey, but I can't afford a new dress. And anyway, I don't think I'm going. Oh, why not? Because I haven't a single thing to wear. And besides, I think it's going to be boring. Oh, you don't have a date yet, huh? <laughs> How did you know? That's what I always say when I don't have a date. That must be where I heard it. <laughs> I don't understand it. You're so pretty and so much fun. I think the men would be beating your door down. I don't understand it either. Maybe I should loosen my hinges. <laughs> Hi, kid. Hi. Hey, Viv, have you snagged a date for Saturday night yet? Well, actually, there were so many men who wanted to take me that rather than play favorites, I decided not to go at all. That way, nobody gets hurt. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. I'll use it next time I don't have a date. <laughs> I wish I could help you find somebody. But the only men I know are boys. I sure wish you were younger. That makes three of us. <laughs> Viv, you know, I'm so tired of worrying about getting a date for Saturday night, I don't even want to go. Listen, we paid $10 a ticket for that dance, and we're going to go to it if I have to rent a tux and lead all evening. <laughs> well, that sounds charming. The trouble with us, Lucy, we're just not trying to get dates. Not trying? We've done everything but loiter in the lobby of the YMCA. <laughs> Gee, that's not a bad idea. Oh, I'll go get my address book. There must be somebody we forgot. I hope so. Well, hi, Jerry. Hi. What's the matter? It's old man Taylor. Who's old man Taylor? My new teacher. He gave me a D in arithmetic. Oh, dear. Just when you were doing so well with Mrs. Lucas. Yeah. Why'd you have to go and have a baby right in the middle of one division? <laughs> well, honey, if you're having trouble with your arithmetic, I'll help you. Old man Taylor's the toughest teacher I ever had. Yeah, well, I'm sure if you work harder, you'll do better. I wish he'd have a baby and quit. <laughs> Jerry. Hi, Pam. Any luck? Well, there's something here in the front of the book that might be interesting. It's a number and it's got RB by it. Who do I know with the initials RB? Why don't you call and find out? <laughs> RB. Oh, I knew a cute fellow once. His name was Ronnie Belmont. Oh, it might be him. No, maybe it's uh, Rudy Brown. I think he's still single. Well, why don't you call? What do you got to lose? Okay, why not? RB. I wonder who it is. Maybe it's Richard Burton. <laughs> hey, we have any time. Who is it? Who's R.B.? Ralph Bagley, my ex-husband. <laughs> well, now, let's just sit down and think. This is getting crucial. Is it crucial enough to ask Harry Connors? Look, every time I need a date, I ask poor old Harry next door. Now, I made up my mind, this time I am just not going to do it. You're right. You should hold out for somebody new and exciting. You want to ask Harry? <laughs> What's the matter with me? Don't I get somebody new and exciting, too? All right, somebody new and exciting for both of us. Two 
too bad about Harry. He's so handy. I know. But I wouldn't ask Harry if he was the last man on earth. And I'm beginning to think he is. <laughs> your old man Taylor to discuss Jerry's arithmetic and he's dropping by. Oh. Who are you talking to on the phone? Eddie, about a date. Is he going? Well, it's kind of iffy. If he's in town and if he hasn't got a client to entertain, he may take me. <laughs> if I can't find anybody else. <laughs> well, that sounds romantic. <laughs> oh, that must be old man Taylor. You won't need me, honey. I'll go start dinner. Okay. Hello. Is this the Carmichael house? I'm Mrs. Carmichael. I'm Henry Taylor. Well, Jerry's teacher. Oh, man, Taylor? <laughs> well, won't you come in? Thank you very much. Won't you sit down? Ah. Now, Mrs. Carmichael, about Jerry. Jerry who? <laughs> Your son, Jerry Carmichael. Oh, that Jerry. <laughs> yeah. What about it? You know about his arithmetic? His arithmetic? Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. What about it? It's not doing very well. Oh? Mr. Taylor, would, would you excuse me for a moment? Certainly. <laughs> Come and look at old man Taylor. <laughs> Whoa. If that's an old man, I'm joining the senior citizen. <laughs> Hughes, did you ask him for a date with the dance? Oh, no. I, he came to talk about Jerry. I don't know how to bring up the dance. If you don't, I do. Now, just a minute. Let me think. Let's see now. Why couldn't I just go in there and say, uh, Mr. Taylor, how would you like to take me someplace Saturday night? What's the worst thing he could say? I'll have to ask my wife. <laughs> Oh, he may have a wife and six kids. He may. He looks single. That doesn't mean a thing. Ralph looked single the entire time we were married. <laughs> hey, did he have on a wedding ring? I didn't notice. That's a good idea. <sighs> now then, Mr. Taylor, where were we? Well, we were talking about Jerry's arithmetic grades. Oh, yes, sir. Does seem to be a problem, doesn't there? Oh, I don't think there's any cause for alarm. I just think he has to uh, apply himself. And we are going to disallow that D that he received, you see. I've only uh, been here a couple of weeks from San Francisco, and I've been trying to find out exactly how far Mrs. Lucas got with the class. Is, uh, is anything the matter, Mrs. Carmichael? No, no, nothing's the matter. It's just that when my son has problems, I... I get nervous. Well, I don't think you have a single thing to worry about. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Catch! <laughs> My son's arithmetic teachers, uh, I test their reflexes. Uh -huh. I see. Well, uh, perhaps I'd better be running along, Mr. Oh, Carmichael. no, no, Miss, Mr. Taylor. There's something I want to ask you. What is it? Mr. Taylor, are you maybe interested in coffee? Well, that would be very nice if it isn't too much trouble. No, no trouble at all. <laughs> 
isn't wearing a wedding ring. Did you ask him to go to the dance? No, not yet. Do you have some coffee? Sure. Lucy? What? I just happened to think. If a man is wearing a wedding ring, it means he's married. But if he isn't wearing one, it doesn't mean he's single. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. What do I do now? Oh, there must be some way to find out if a man's married. His driver's license, that would tell. If I could just get my hands on his billfold. <laughs> While you're finding out if he's single, he's finding out that you're a pickpocket. <laughs> well, now, look.
lucky to find such an attractive girl as you free on Saturday night. <laughs> it's fate. <laughs> Would you believe it? This is the first Saturday night in weeks that I haven't had a date. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's not only attractive, she is brave. <laughs> you mean for going out with me? <laughs> no, I mean about all that business with that kooky character yesterday. Oh, dear. Did they ever find out who that was? Not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it. Of course. Yeah. Just a moment. Thank you. Eddie Cullen! Hi, you, honey. Doing here? Well, I just got to thinking. I'm not going to put business before you, so I told my client I had a very important date. And I brought Charlie along for Lucy. Oh. Uh, Charlie Graham, Lucy Carmichael, oh. and oh. Vivian Bagley. Oh, hello. Well, Charlie Graham, I'd like you to know Henry Taylor. Uh, uh, Mr. Taylor. Oh, Charlie. Oh, Let's see. Well, Harry! <laughs> oh, I thought you were going on a flight. Well, I was, but I got to thinking I can't stand you up, boy. Uh, 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 so I had someone else take the flight, and I brought along Stan Williams for Viv. Hey, Stan! Oh, oh for heaven's sake! Any problem? Well, I just don't know who's going to have the first dance. <laughs> well, how do you do, how Stan? Do you do? Stan Williams, I'd like you to know Tom Bennett. Tom, Tom Bennett, Stan Williams, uh, Stan Williams, Henry Taylor. Henry Taylor, uh, Ed Collins, Stan Williams. Harry Collins. Harry Collins. Harry Taylor.